If you have a winging of your shoulder blade, if your shoulder blade is coming away from your upper back, then there's a good chance that you have a weakness in one of the muscles that we call the serratus anterior. In this video, I'm gonna show you my top three exercises for building strength in this muscle to help bring that shoulder blade back to where it belongs, and most importantly, build strength back into your shoulder. So let's begin. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Hume. I'm a chiropractor currently based in Dicot, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at this serratus anterior. You may have identified that your scapula or your shoulder blade is winging, it's coming off your upper back, or maybe you just identified that your serratus anterior is weak and that's causing a dysfunction in your shoulder. Whatever the reason, we're gonna go through my top three exercises for strengthening this muscle. And this is a very essential muscle and quite often gets missed particularly when we're doing our gym workouts, just because it's not one of those showy muscles like the pec major may be. So firstly, where is the serratus anterior? So if we've got our shoulder here, if you can imagine uh, that this is your uh, clavicle at the front, your, uh, just uh, around this area here, and this at uh, the back here, this long flat bone is gonna be your shoulder blade or otherwise known as your scapula. And then your arm here comes into a, what forms uh, the socket that's formed by your clavicle and your scapula back here. Now your serratus anterior essentially attaches to the front part of the scapula. So if you're looking at someone from behind, you can't actually uh, see this muscle um, from its origin just because it's, it's attached right um, underneath it. And it then goes around and attaches onto the front of your ribs. So it's gonna be coming around here and attaching onto most of your ribs coming all around the side here. And so its function is to um, help you elevate the shoulder. So it's basically going to upwardly rotate your scapula here. And it's also gonna to help to protract your scapula. So it's gonna help, help this motion, help bring the scapula and the shoulder forwards like this. And so it forms one of your upward rotators and that's very essential if you want to be able to elevate your arm. So if it's weak, you're gonna have trouble bringing that arm up and you're gonna get compensation. So sometimes you might find that other muscles will compensate and therefore get tighter or may develop pain in certain areas, particularly your upper traps, a muscle just over here. If you're getting a lot of tightness in that muscle, it could be because the serratus anterior isn't doing its job properly and therefore this muscle is doing more than it should do to try and compensate and therefore it's getting fatigued and developing trigger points, etc and that's going to give you then pain. So how can we address this? So we're going to want to do exercises that's going to favor or bias this muscle over the other muscles. It's very hard to just work the serratus anterior on its own, but there are exercises that we can use to bias this muscle so that the shoulder relies on using this muscle more than say your upper traps. So the first exercise, and this is actually my favorite exercise, is going to be using a core roller. So you're going to need a core roller. It doesn't really matter what size. You just need something that you can roll up and down. You're then going to bring your arms out in front of you with your thumbs pointing towards you. And you're going to put your forearms on top of that core roller. And you're ideally going to want to start it around the wrists. You're then going to put the core roller against the wall and stand fairly close towards the wall. And then keeping your forearms on the core roller you're going to roll the core roller up the wall as high as you can and then slowly back down again this position is going to favor the serratus anterior to produce the upward rotation of the scapula that i mentioned previously so i suggest that you do this 12 times and three sets and ideally you want to be doing this daily so you should feel the serratus anterior so you should feel like a muscle inside your uh, your shoulder blade fatiguing as you do that this is a nice one to start with because it's not just building strength it's primarily building the movement pattern and if you have a weakness in this muscle it's often because you don't have the correct movement pattern so you just need to be able to train your shoulder to start using this muscle again just almost to activate this muscle now the next and second exercise is going to be a push-up plus what we're going to do with this one is you're going to go into a push-up position um, you can start on your knees and when you want to make this harder you can then come up onto your toes and then you're going to basically push up but without using your elbows so you're going to keep your elbows straight and you're just going to do it from the shoulders so you're going to come all the way down so bring your body down almost leaving your shoulders behind and then you're going to push up as far as you can and then you're going to come back down again so you're basically doing a push-up 
just using your shoulders. To make this a little bit harder, we can create a little bit of upward rotation by essentially just elevating the arms. And again, I would suggest doing this 12 times and then three sets. The last exercise is going to be using a dumbbell. So you're gonna hold the dumbbell with the elbows at 90 degrees, and then you're just going to uh, lead in with the elbow. You're gonna just bring the arm up and inwards and then back down again. So this is gonna create a bit of upward rotation while favoring the serratus anterior. And of course, the more weight that you have, the more stress you're gonna put on that muscle, the more challenging it is gonna be for that muscle. So start low and work your way upwards. And I would suggest start in the order of the exercises that I've gone through. The first exercise is great for building up movement patterns and the last two are good for then continuing to build up strength in that muscle. To get the most amount of effect, uh, and the best results you want to be doing this every day and at the end you should feel a bit of fatigue around that shoulder blade hopefully in your serratus anterior so they're my best exercises if you have any others that you think um, you've also found it also great then uh, then do suggest them down in the comments i hope you found that that helpful if you have any questions you can also put that in the comments otherwise please do subscribe to see more videos like this one and i'll see you on my next video thank you Bye bye